Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. We've got a lot of Lego in our Lego room. And what do Lego sets come with? They come with boxes and instruction manuals. I only keep one of two of those items. That's the instruction manuals. I think the instruction manuals are pretty awesome and you got to keep them because they're just part of the set. And they're amazing and they're not that big. But of course, when you get hundreds of them, they can take up quite a bit of space. And of course, you want to organize them and store them away so they don't get damaged and just store them away in, I don't know, the best possible way possible. The best possible way possible, sure. The best way possible, that's, that's what I meant to say there. So today we're gonna to be uh, showing you guys our instruction manual hoard. Okay, so it's a little bit loud and a little bit crowded in here, but this is where all of our instruction manuals are. Yeah, it's loud in here, I know. But yeah, look at that, they're below our Funko Pops. Right here, in paper boxes and banker's boxes. But we actually found some more boxes recently and we're gonna be doing the transfer today. Luna, I bought those for the instruction manuals, not for cats. You hear me? Not for cats. They're for instructions. These guys right here are what I consider to be the grails. These are the Lego Star Wars UCS instruction manuals and they're all coiled. These things are massive. They're amazing. Definitely no way that I'll ever be getting rid of those things. So we got things like the uh, Super Star Destroyer, the Death Star playset, the UCS Millennium Falcon, the Death Star 2, and under here we have the Star Destroyer. Those things are awesome. I wish more instruction manuals came with the coils because it's just so cool. All right, so I've pulled out all the instruction manuals now. You can see we have them stored away in various bankers boxes, paper boxes, just sort of anything that we had. Also, there's a bunch that aren't even in boxes because, as you can see, all of our boxes are full, so every time I build a new set, I just sort of add it to a stack. Now, the problem with the boxes that we currently have is they don't have lids. So when you stack these things on top of one another, specifically the paper boxes, your instruction manuals sort of start to get damaged because the weight of the box that's on top of it is crushing the manuals, which is not good. I definitely do not like seeing this going on with my manuals. These are my most important books, my most important pieces of literature that we have. So the other day we were at Walmart looking for Lego deals and I came across a pretty cool find and it's actually more bankers boxes. I think they came in three packs. So three boxes for about $10 Canadian. So today we're going to be resorting all of these and also be putting them in their new boxes. So here's the boxes that I was referring to from Walmart. Yeah, they did come in packs of three and I think they were 10 bucks. Obviously these do a really good job of storing away paper, which instruction manuals are made of. And look at that, 450 pounds. Huh? Wow, that's actually pretty incredible. So I think I actually made a mistake. I only bought one of those and we're probably gonna go back to Walmart and buy more packs of those so that we can, in fact, convert all of our boxes because let's face the fact, mismatched boxes doesn't really vibe with me and they're only three bucks each. And obviously if they're matched boxes, they'll stack on top of one another a little bit better. However, I think this one looks pretty good, like this brown one and this brown one with the lid. But anything without a lid has gotta go because I don't wanna further damage our instruction manuals. Hmm, let's get these built, organize some into there and then we'll probably go to Walmart. Hey, maybe we'll check out, see if there's any Lego deals at the Walmart that we go to to get more instruction manuals. There's an idea. More instruction manuals, I mean more boxes. Jeepers creepers. Well, as per usual, well, as per usual lately, we've arrived at Walmart and there's some of the new stuff here, but nothing really on sale, which is, I guess, rather unfortunate. But let's go find our banker's boxes, enough of that. Well, I took a little bit of asking questions and a little bit of poking around, but I found them in this Walmart here that we're not accustomed to. How many more do we need, Jose? One? Yeah, probably one pack. One pack, six boxes total. Plus we had two at home that we're relatively decent with, right? Those brown ones are okay. 
Yeah, let's get one of them for now. Well, one of them, which equals to three, right? Okie dokie, so we've emptied all the pre-existing boxes. Whoo! I shouldn't say I did. Jose did. <laughs> Good work, hon. And she's done a great job of sorting all of our instruction manuals here. So, evidently, this is Creator. So, Creator 3-in-1, Creator Expert, Modular Buildings, Gingerbread Houses, anything that's Creator. Ooh, that's a thick one. What's that? Ooh, Camper Van. What's this? Turbo Targa. Wow, we could probably flip through these and see what's good, eh? No, nope, there's the three-in-one pet shop. She's got them so neatly stacked, though. We already had a look at that one. What else is in here? Ferrari, Harley Davidson, another modular building, corner garage. That looks like the old fishing store. Oh no, it's not. Caravan. What is that? Three in one pirate ship. Then it looks like she's put Star Wars in two different stacks. We've got Darth Vader on top. Hey, that makes sense. Vader should be on top. He deserves it. There's all sorts of Star Wars stuff in here, whether it be micro sets. Oh, man. at, -AT walkers. Hey, look at that. That's classic. All sorts of good stuff. I need almost two hands to get in here and dig through these piles like I want to. I want to see what's in here, but I, I, I can't. Why did we keep all of the art set instruction manuals? I feel like those are some that we could get rid of. Actually, she's been tossing away some. Haven't you, Jose? Where did you put those ones? There's Diagon Alley. Moments. Hermione. What's this in the bottom here? Harry Potter that's, stack. that's the big castle, so that's a Harry Potter stack. I'm making a mess of your stacks. Oh yes, we kept all of our manuals. We got the brick heads there, pretty cool. We got some brick sketches and sort of art stuff. Small miscellaneous, stuff. eh? Smaller miscellaneous stuff. Star Wars, there's the grails again on the bottom there. Oh, there's, there's my first set. Look at that, we flipped the 2014 ATAT. Uh, -AT. There's the Boba Fett's uh, Slave One there. I want to call it Boba Fett Starship. Why? Why have they converted me into that? <laughs> we got our Lego City piles here. All sorts of Lego. Oh my gosh. All sorts of Lego City stuff. City manuals are sort of annoying because you usually get multiple. So they're like hard to pair up because generally speaking, people want to build this as a family. Look at the Technic pile though. That's so thick. Land Rover. No, oh, I could put that in the Lamborghini box okay, to conserve space in our boxes. I know I did that with the Porsche. Senna, what do we got here? Extreme 4x4 off-roader. Dom's Dodge Charger. All the Speed Champion stuff. Stacks on stacks of Speed Champions. Didn't you say that you're going to organize it by um, I'm gonna number? I'm going to sort them by set number. I already did that with the city. Okay. I'm going to do it with every theme so that it's easy that for us sense. to find manuals if we're ever So like lowest to highest sort of deal? Yeah, so we kind of got... All superheroes. So we got a Marvel pile, a DC pile. So this one's DC here, right? With Venom on top? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's the Daily Bugle. Best uh, DC set, one of them. And then we've got Avengers. I'm just kidding. The Avengers Tower there. And then we've got DC right here. Ooh, there's the 66 Batmobile. The Flying Fox. Ooh, the Batwing. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, the Tumblr. Nice, pretty sweet. And then, what's this? Sir? These three piles are sort of like miscellaneous. miscellaneous. They just need hey. to be sorted. Majesto's Tower. We got Disney, Friends, Castle. You're classifying Disney as miscellaneous? Yeah, well, they, they don't How have dare money, you? you know? How dare you? This they is like a creator expert. No, I guess they're 18 plus. That's not creator expert. That's the haunted house, but it should go with creator, I think. Oh, whoops, sorry. Sorry, Manuel. Sorry. I'm ruining things here. Making a mess. Ooh, Bricklink stuff in here. What do we got here? Ooh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay. So what's the dealio with this? I see the Ghostbusters HQ right there. Everyone is awesome on top of the stack. Also a castle. Whoa, I'm almost falling. Yeah, I'm almost falling. And you got a very tight, Ideas. tight space gonna, to stand in here. Gonna, oh my gosh. I'm almost I'm falling. I'm going to sort them a little bit. But okay, let me move these manuals. I don't, I don't feel comfortable three, standing on them. Kind of miscellaneous random piles. I'll sort them as I do Ooh, Trios. Let's see Spring Lantern Festival. So yeah, anyways, there's all of our manuals. 
We emptied all of the boxes. I went through and messed them all up here. Jose had them beautifully organized, and I said, nope. And then we were at Walmart earlier, as we saw. And look at that. We got six bankers boxes now. I think they're going to fit in six, but if not, we can definitely reuse some of these brown ones. Ooh, almost fell again, almost fell again. Right here, we can definitely reuse those ones with the lids. But my new rule is it's got to have a lid and it's got to be a banker's box, which can hold, apparently, astronomical amounts of weight. To, like, as it says, once again, on the label here, I don't believe it. 204 kilograms? It can hold multiple of me in a box? I don't believe you. But either way, let's get them stowed away and back to safety. Okay, so now we've got all of our instruction manuals organized. And let me tell you, this new system is amazing. We've labeled on the side of each box. Okay, Luna, yeah, okay. Uh, we've labeled on the side of each box what's inside or which instruction manuals are included. For example, right here we have 18 plus Star Wars and Brickheads, right, Luna? Yeah, okay, yeah, get out of my way. I'm trying to film a video here. And in this box we have uh, Disney, Ninjago, Space, Lord of the Rings, Lego Movie, Architecture, Friends, Hidden Side, Monster Fighters, Castle, Mega Constructs, Bricklink, and also uh, Brick Model Railroader. This one we have Star Wars. There's actually a couple different boxes of Star Wars. You saw Star Wars in here earlier. And this is Star Wars 275291. That's the set number. Because all of these instruction manuals are organized in these boxes numerically. Yeah, that's pretty cool, eh? Over here we have City Speed Champions Creator. And there's actually two different boxes in which Creator is in. There's the first box there. Lots of large sets in there. And we've actually stood up some of the manuals like this so we can fit two stacks of them so they fit as many as possible into these heavy duty banker boxes. Right here we have Ideas Coliseum. Coliseum gets its own label. Miscellaneous Technic. That's because we have two Coliseums. And right here we have Harry Potter, Marvel, and DC. So now they're all stowed away in their banker's boxes, all in order, and just look perfect. It's time to put the lids on these boxes and put them back into the room. Okie dokie, so there we go. All the instruction manuals are in their banker's boxes, organized to a T. And they stack perfectly on top of one another. These things are awesome. I never knew they could support this much weight. Absolutely incredible. Seven boxes with, of course, the grails on top. So there we go, everybody. That is our new and improved way on storing our instruction manuals, sorted by theme and then sort of numeric order after that and placed within the uh, banker's boxes. I recommend it cheap and easy way of doing it. Everybody remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on our channel. Thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great one.